adjustment. Uh, this is your second year, right? Third. Third year. How do you feel this year with the new head coach and the new team? How do you feel? Good. Um, you know, I hear people say, and a couple people said the second year is always the hardest, and I believe it because it was a really hard year, but I learned a lot. And so coming into the third year, you sort of have more of an understanding of how the league works, what your role is, and even though there's a new coaching staff, I have more of an understanding of what I can bring and who I am out there on and off the court. And so um, I'm excited for the new staff and for the, the new people who are on the team. And I think it's, there's been great additions all across the board. And so, um, you know, we have a lot that we can get better at, but I'm excited for what's in store. What was your summer like? What did you improve your game on over the summer to be a better teammate, to be a better player for this part? Yeah, I think um, it's just embracing what your role is and not complaining about that, but simply enjoying um, however you can contribute. And so when your name is called, you're ready to contribute. Uh, if that's scoring, if that's passing, rebounding, there's a lot of things that you can do in basketball. And so you enjoy that, and then you be the best teammate that you can be. But the whole point is to win. And then, and to do that together. And you can't do that with uh, one person. And so whatever your role is, you embrace it. Um, and you know, I, I'm really fortunate to have amazing teammates, uh, a lot of vets who have been there, and they, they just want to help me and help our younger players um, understand what the league is, what we can be. And like Candace over there, um, she, she's been a, a very good help at uh, speaking belief into me uh, throughout the whole journey. And so um, it's just exciting uh, to be here and to not lose sight of simply being on the team. And that's, uh, that's more than enough. Um, I think it's just continuing to to build that trust um, with him and the team and then as individuals. And I know that we had a lot of good talks um, coming into the season during the off season. Um, in regards to his approach to making sure that as a team, collectively and then individually, he has those relationships built, that it's about the people and how he has to bring the best out of each of us. And so he's been very intentional with every single one of us in making sure that we're prepared, that we have an understanding of his expectations. And um, it's an open door policy. If we have any questions, he's, he's ready to help us any way that he can as a coach. He has experience as a player and he's a point guard. And so um, it's just using your resources. And I'm, I'm so excited to continue to learn from him. Yeah, I mean, how, regardless of the minutes that I play, um, I'm, it's become being ready whenever your name is called and whatever role you're stepping into. And so I think the first two seasons, I've really learned a lot through all those experiences, not really knowing when I'm going to be on the floor, what they what they want from me, and just learning to, to be ready at all times. And so it takes experiences, it takes time to build up that credibility and build up that belief. And so um, I do feel good. Um, whether I'm out there or not, like I said, it's, it's amazing to simply be here and I got to give credit to the trainers that I was working with in the offseason to really get my mind right to It seems like you've really sped up your mechanics on both shooting off the dribble and coming off the screens. Is that something you were making a conscious effort on to be able to get your shot off quickly for the offseason? Yeah, I was. So I was in Israel in the off season, and then I was able to be home for about five weeks. And the trainer that I worked with, shout out to Carlos, Carlos. Um, he and he really worked with. It wasn't really basketball training; it was more speed and agility work. And so that transferred over into the basketball workouts because I was able to be more explosive, be more comfortable getting my feet set under me. And also, we worked, we worked a lot with the arms and the release, all those different. There's so many exercises that you can do that I had no idea about. And so he really helped me. Um, he's one of the ones that really spoke belief into me. My cousin. Brock, he's a trainer out here too, and we've been working for years since I was a kid, and so it's really cool to simply pursue basketball at this level. And so, um, any opportunity to improve, um, I'm thankful for everyone who's helped me along the way, and like I said, happy to be here. Phoenix. Phoenix. Almost Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona. Shout out to 602. Yep. Thank you guys. All right, thank you guys. Go Sparks.